15 ain't easy, unless you're watching me. Welcome back to the Thrift Store Rundown's Odyssey to the Oscars! This is our 8th year bringing the Academy Awards home on a budget, and while we do try and find ways of making you feel like a Hollywood insider almost every week around here, in and out of Oscar season, I can think of a few ways that are cooler than cool that are bringing home a foyer consideration movie screener. And what is a foyer consideration screener? These are bare-bones DVD releases of high-budget or low-budget films distributed to awards committees for consideration and nominations. For your considerations. Specifically, for 25% off a of buck ninety-nine, I picked up the FYC screener of the Warner Brothers film The Prisoners with Oscar nominees Hugh Jackman and Jake Gyllenhaal. Directed by Denis Villeneuve. Denis Villeneuve. And yes, I took extra care to make sure I would pronounce his name right. At least the second time. <laughs> um, this film is rated R, and it runs over two and a half hours. It's rated R for disturbing content, including torture and language throughout. And it's not just Hugh Jackman and Jake Gyllenhaal. We got here Oscar winners, Melissa Leo and Viola Davis. We also have here Maria Bello and Terrence Howard and Paul Dano. This for your consideration screener was to be considered in the following categories. I assume these are Oscar categories from Best Picture all the way down to Best Makeup and Hair Styling. This actually did get nominated for Best Cinematography, Roger A. Deakins, but he lost in that category. This for your consideration screener, among many you can find in thrift stores, you know they are surprisingly commonplace around here, are never meant to be bought, let alone sold. In fact, it's against the law for any FYC screener to be sold. The recipient is not meant to loan, rent, sell, give away, or exhibit in any way, shape, or form these bare bones DVD releases. Doing so could result in criminal prosecution, so this just might be one of the most dangerous reviews I've done yet. I believe they place barcodes at the bottom of every disc for studios to track, so they can find out who's receiving these screeners and what they're doing with them. I'm not going to show you that because I'm not taking a chance on Warner Brothers sending one of their goonies to come after me and do with me what they will. But anyway, you saw the DVD and you also saw a couple of stills from the film and some wave reviews from the New York Daily News, USA Today, Newsday, the New York Observer, and Rolling Stone. And I would have to agree. I mean, if you're looking for a really sharp and well-written thriller with twisted turns, uh, not to make you feel like you rode a roller coaster ten times over without feeling that much excitement to the point of throwing up, this really is front of the line. It is a top-caliber drama with top-caliber talent. But they're only cool because of their roots. They don't have any special features. I'm not really here to talk about the film as much as I'm here to talk about the difference between this and a regular DVD you can find at any store and can legally buy. With this, you can play and pause at your leisure. You can skip sudden scenes if you want to if you're pressed for time. Like, admittedly, I was pressed for time. So I did just that. But there are no closed captioning in here. There is no subtitles in here. There are no special features, behind the scenes extras, no cast and crew profiles, none of that that you would find in a regular DVD or special edition DVD. If you want, per se, um, cast or crew introductions, that would depend on the movie that you're buying in an FYC screener. So, these things are cool only because of where they come from, because of their roots, and because of their platform. Not because of the features or really lack thereof that you get with these FYC screeners. Which were either distributed to awards committees by themselves, like this, or as part of a major press kit. Either way, four and a half out of five claps just for that 
And for the movie Prisoners itself, I'd like to buy the standard DVD if we ever do. And I think we will. But really, for your consideration, if you want a little bit more than this, I really wouldn't consider it. Thanks for tuning in. Just so you know, there's no limit to Brady Hollywood Home on a budget. Please go ahead and check out another awesome review like this one by clicking here. And make sure you subscribe by clicking here. Until next time, I'll catch you, as I always do, on the flip side.